You should all consider yourselves fortunate that the contract wasn't for any of you. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right. That should do it with you all and your various quests. There's only one left. Well, two, actually, but I'm not counting Tia. Oh, we have Jade. Let's see if she's in her cabin. Jade left a note in her quarters. I think it's for you. Really? She's not here? Hasn't been for some time. What? Let's go see this note. Keen. We both knew this day would come. As compensation for the damage I am to inflict on you and your crew, I will relinquish my quarters on your vessel for, for the return journey. I understand this won't cover the expense of a lost crew member, much less a friend, but it's the best I can offer. Once again, I find myself wishing the Night Mother would turn a blind eye or permit a failed contract. But in my heart, I know these prayers fall short. One thing remains true. I have no choice in this matter. <laughs> Very well. So... I suppose we need to go find her. Come on. No, I could have used some rest. What? Oh, I need to speak to you about Jade's note. Something on your mind? Oh, wait a minute. How did I know that this, that Jade is planning to kill Hayden? I don't remember reading that in the note. But Jade is planning to kill Hayden. What? How can you be sure? She's on a contract for him. Any ideas where she might be? By the Nine, I knew we shouldn't have trusted her. <laughs> Obviously, but now is not the time for hindsight. Of course. I think it's likely she'd lure him somewhere favoring her with a clear advantage. A location she scouted before and knows well. You spent more time with her than the rest of us. Anything come to mind? I think I know where they might be. Then we have little time to waste. We may already be too late. All right. Let's get a, a crew together here. Let's see. We'll take Tia. <laughs> Dragonborn? All right, Tia. Let's see what you can do. The rest of you, with me. Not even able to get any sleep tonight, it seems. It's always trouble. I think this is the aisle where we killed the uh, the distributor. Let's go. Hmm. 
Hmm. Halt. Wait, I remember you. You helped kill the former master of this place, didn't you? And you're welcome. Well, you might have unintentionally done us a favor, but that doesn't mean we can trust you. What did you come back for? Did an assassin and a drunk come through recently? We let the drunk in. Didn't see no assassin. <laughs> Unless you can peddle moon sugar from a casket, let us in. Your point is incredibly persuasive. Come on in. All right, with me. It's over this way. You shouldn't be here. Turn away, Dova. Please. You're only going to make this harder on the both of us. Come on. this? Okay, here we are. Don't pick that lock, Dova. Don't try to stop me. This is the last time I'm going to warn you. Steady. We're trying to help you. This isn't the answer. There are alternatives to blind obedience. How could you betray us like this? We trusted you. See, I brought a gallery of voices to help dissuade you. I am going to have to pick the lock though, however. Now, what you do next is up to you. Damn it, Dova. I don't want to hurt you. Nor I you. Go ahead and kill Hayden. No one likes him anyway. Don't try to stop me. I'm not. <laughs> understand you have a marketing strategy that will, as you say, triple our profits for the coming year. Almost sounds too good to be true. And I understand you have still a few bottles of Old Crescent. Give him the merchandise. Now, for your part. Right, here it is. I wrote the method on this note paper. It's blank. Exactly. The secret is starting anew. Nice shot. Kill them all. Oh, you're not doing a good job.
Well, at last, he knows peace. Tassius, that must be yours, okay. Are we done here? Hayden's lucky sword. Wait a minute, is this an enchantment that I don't know? Well, I'll take it then. All right, here we go. All right, at last. It's over. Hmm. No sign of Jade, though. Have you anything to say? Need something? <laughs> good. What about you, Tassius? Yes. Very good. Hmm. And you? All right, well. All right, I'll try from here. You! Hello! Is something on your mind? Just, you know, progress on the book is all. Not that you care, of course. I don't care. Silence. All right. I say we get back to the ship and see if Jade is there. I mean, she should have known. I mean, who am I to get in the way of the contract of the Dark Brotherhood? <laughs> you should all consider yourselves fortunate that the contract wasn't for any of you. Day. All right, we're back. Let's see if Jade come came back to the ship. She may have run off. Too bad. She doesn't realize that she and I are on the same side. All right, I suppose we'll call it a night. See if we can't find Jade in the morning and then prepare to get off this island. All right, it's a new day. Let's see if Jade has returned. Well, look who's here. Welcome back. It's done. Look. About the note I left, I meant it. After this, I don't feel I deserve a place among your crew. Who am I to get in the way of a contract from the Dark Brotherhood? I understand why you had to kill him. My ship, however, is still open to you. You never give up on anyone, do you? <laughs> True friends stick together to the end. Yeah, I suppose they do. And now, I believe that should do it for our missions. 
Whatever Tia had in mind, I'm not going through with it. And Bryn, we cannot complete hers because it causes breakage in the continuity of this world. And the companions that I take will not leave that cave. So, I think it's time that we confront the Warden. All right, let me get my group together here. Let's see. Take Katri. Just Tassius and Uriel, that's good. Because I'm I've been specifically told to bring Eerie. Ah, a nice bright day. Bright and foggy. Alright, before I confront the warden, it's time for me to unlock another level of power. <laughs> I think we're going for even more magicka. That should do for now. All right, we're off to see the warden. All right, here we are. It's always the most important party that's late. Where is Uriel? Right, we'll wait an hour. There you are, it's about time. All right, let's go inside. So, I've finally reached level 50. My power should be more than formidable. <laughs> I'm so close to achieving my goals. It's a shame, though, we had to... I had to sacrifice two of the crew to get to here to confront this warden. Hayden really didn't amount to much. And the poor Sir Roland. Oh. Please take a seat. The master will be in shortly. Oh, will he now? <laughs> All right, so we fail. Yes, excellent. We failed those two missions. Something to ease the tension, sire. Hm. Nothing for me, thanks. Of course. Get out of my face, Daedric filth. <laughs> Tell him how you really feel. <laughs> oh, pass. Uriel? No, thanks. And how long is he going to keep us waiting? I have an island to get off of. Oh, look. A dramatic entrance. Why am I not surprised? Join us, Delva King. There is much to discuss. I'm sure there is. I suspect you have many questions. I have nothing to hide. Ask away. I actually don't have any questions. I just want you to release the barrier 
around this island so that we can depart. I am curious, though, why you're not meeting us in person? I mean, the spectral form, while daunting, is irritating to me. I take this form for my safety. As you should. The end of my service has <laughs> not yet come. I will not risk interfering with the course of destiny. And what did you want with Ariel? All in good time, Nova King. Surely there are other questions. Why do you have Jamora as servants? Is that how it looks? How deceptive the untaught eye can be. There is only one servant in this room, and he sits before you. Interesting. And why did you choose to meet us here? These crypts have a historical significance few on the Isle commemorate. During the Oblivion Crisis, a lone mortal struck a deal with Lord Dagon in these very halls. An agreement that would change this peninsula forever. The people here would be spared total annihilation under one condition. That he kill three quarters of the islanders himself. The mortal complied. And with the aid of the Daedra, committed the atrocious act of genocide. The first reaping. Amused by this, Dagon altered the deal, scheduling this crisis to recur every generation. As for the mortal, he would be afforded the responsibility of managing the event, funneling down the chaos, ensuring that the lines of men and myrrh would endure to repopulate. He would bear the burden of choosing which gates to open. Dagon would have his blood, and this man, this warden, would choose the people he'd pry it from. Hmm, so you've been the warden for generations. I inherited this role from my predecessor as he did from his. I am the fourth warden to have watched over this island, but the final hour of my servitude has nearly elapsed. For the hand of destiny has already guided my successor here. Hmm. We had a deal. I've seen to my end of it. I offered to show you the way home. You did. And I will, for you will soon live in eternal service to Lord Dagon. <laughs> Is that what you think? <laughs> so, tell me, who is this successor of yours, Is it Ariel? I have faith in your ability to solve that riddle yourself. All right. So then what makes you think I will take your place? You can fight it, or you can accept it. It's all for naught. The Hand of Destiny cares not for the disposition of mortals. The sooner you affirm that fate is a force beyond your control, the easier it will be to live with your choices. I was like you once. Stubborn, strong-willed, and an outspoken skeptic of prophecy. I thought I could save the people of the island for good. Outsmart both Dagon and Destiny by using my powers against them. It... It cannot be done. And when Dagon learns of such treachery, he'll take everything from you. Hmm. You know... It's interesting that you actually think that I'm a mere mortal. <laughs> and you think that my power isn't greater than yours. Or Dagon's. You've much to learn. 
So, is that what happened to you? I tried to use my position to save the ones I loved, send them away from this accursed place. When Dagon learned of this, he slaughtered them before me. I held my son in my arms as he issued his last breath, forced to watch as Dramora cut down his mother. Even my youngest, who I thought to have safely escaped, was not to be spared. They didn't kill her. That penalty would not have been sufficient. They held her for extortion, leverage to ensure I never rebel again. When I say you cannot beat them, I mean it. I wasn't born a slave of the Daedra. I was molded into one. And you will be too, if you discard my advice. So you say. It's only hopeless if you give up on hope. <laughs> so you believe. Tell me, Dova King, why do you think you arrived on this island? <laughs> it would spoil things if I told you the real reason. But for the sake of a uh, conversation, Hiriel was looking for her parents, and the ship fell off course. Is that so? What if I told you the ship never veered off course? That this had been the destination all along? Oh, I agree with you. <laughs> and what are you leading to? The origin of your journey. Ariel. She is not your kin. Oh, surprise. She's a pawn of the Daedra. Of course. A tool used to lure my successor here. And it worked. Oh, did it? <laughs> I'll cut your insidious tongue from its crevice! You did not act consciously, of course. They took your memory, as they've done with countless others. You expect me to fall for that? I have memories. Clear memories. I know who I am. You know only what they programmed you to. They crafted a consciousness out of the memory of another. The thoughts, motives, and desires you use to define yourself. They are not yours. You weren't aboard the C.S. Teviot when it's capsized. You have no living siblings, and you are no Dovaki. I'm sorry, little one. You didn't deserve this. It was for my defiance that you were forced to take up such a role. I don't believe you. That would mean... No father should be unrecognized in the eyes of their child. I ask not of forgiveness. I am unworthy of it. What I will ask is this, Dova King. Do not repeat my mistakes. Do not oppose Lord Dagon. You cannot win a battle against fate, and those closest to you will suffer for your arrogance. <laughs> I'm not going to give up as you did. Do my warnings fall on the negligent? Remember my words, Nova King. You cannot succeed against fate. It will outlast you. But your conditioning is not yet complete. I have one final test. My conditioning? If you are not comfortable choosing who will live and who will die, you cannot hope to retain your sanity as warden. When deciding which gates to open and which to keep shut, you must do so with prudence. I've been grooming you for my position since you stepped foot in my mountain. First, I asked you to help my villages, forcing you to take a side in their conflicts, to choose who will live and who will die on a minuscule scale. Then, I sent you to defend one of the threatened villages. One would crumble, 
and the other would endure. Ultimately, I suspect these were easy decisions to make. You had no relation to these people. Their deaths were frivolous. But what happens when the Daedra demand the soul of one of your own? You must not hesitate to comply. <laughs> you are so off base. If you'd been watching, you'd already know that I've sacrificed two of my so-called crew. So please tell me, what are you getting at? At this time, gates will open in two places. One by a village of a dozen people, the other by a boat, where just a handful of your companions reside. People will die, but the choice is yours. The greater good, or your allies. Allow me this word of counsel. Abide by the lesser evil. Wait, Dova, before we go, there's something I must see for myself. Really? Poor girl, I tried telling you from the beginning. Wait, Dova, before we go, there's something I must see for myself. All right, then. There's something I have to know. You wouldn't listen to me. I told you, you want my sister. <laughs> he was right. Everything I've ever known, it's all a lie. You have been memory manipulated, just as Hayden was. So, what did the Embers have to do with it? Remember the urn of dust I told you about when our journey began? The one sent by my father. That was it. All right. And why should it matter? I've been living someone else's life this entire time. Watch your toe. How could that possibly not matter? Now is no time to dwell on it. We have a gate to stop. I... I guess you're right. Let's get out of here. All right. And now, the fun begins. <laughs>